So today we will learn about Hayavatha. This is from your class 4 Marigold Unit 6 and it is a poem, right? You all have read it and it is a, about a boy who is a red Indian boy and he lived with his grandmother. Very good. And he knows everything about the birds and also about the beasts. Can you tell me who were the beasts? Yes, very good. And those were your animals around us, right? Every animal, he called them beasts. He gave them his own names. And do you know what did he call to all the birds? Yes, he called them Hayavatha's chicken. Very good. So, students, this poem is written by H.W. Longfellow. Right? And Hayavatha is a red Indian boy who used to live in American continent. Okay? So, let's begin with this. And today we will learn about the new words and the quick answers. So, there are these new words which you found in the poem. So, the first word is wigwam. Okay? And wig, a wigwam is a dome-shaped hut. You can see that in this picture, this picture you will see, this is a hut which is a little circular from the top. It is a dome-shaped, okay? A wigwam is a dome-shaped hut. And we will make a sentence with it. Hayavatha lived in a wigwam with his grandmother. Very good. Yes, you can read it after me. Hayavatha lived in a wigwam with his grandmother. Very good. Now the next word is swiftly. Right? We read this word in the poem and it was written for reindeers. So swiftly means fast and quickly. If you have seen a reindeer or a deer, you will find out that they run very fast. Okay? So, for fast, we have used here swiftly. So, sentence is reindeers run so swiftly. Okay. Next word is timid. Timid means coward. If you have seen a rabbit, you will get to know that rabbit is very shy. They do not meet you very often. They become very, very shy. Okay. So, timid means coward. Sentence hoga. Rabbits are timid in nature. Very good. Now the next word is beavers. Okay. Here in the picture you can see I have put a beaver. It is a type of mouse. You have seen mouse in your area right? But this mouse is big. It has more hairs. And these hairs are called fur. It is very big. And its tail is very thick. You can see in the picture it's Tail is very thick, very big and thick. And its fur, its hairs are also very thick. Okay, so beaver stole my food. The sentence is beaver stole my food. Very good. Now, read these new words on your own. Very good. Now, let's go to the question answers. Question answers. Can you tell me who was Hayavatha? Very good. Hayavatha was a red Indian boy. Who was Nokomis? Nokomis was Hayavatha's grandmother. Very good. Now what did he learn about the birds? He learned their language, names and the places. They build nests and hid themselves. Okay? So they tell, told him where they build their nest and where they hide themselves. Okay? Because they were so good friends. Then next is, what secrets did he learn about the beasts? So what secrets did he learn about the beasts? First tell me who were the beasts? Very good. They were the animal friends of him. So he learned many secrets about the bees like the way beaver build their lodges, 
द प्ले स्क्रल हिट देर अकाउंट स्विफ्ट रन सीक्रेट ऑफ रेंडियर एंड द रीजन बिहाइंड रेबिट्स टिमिडनेस ओके सो ही लर्न ऑल द सीक्रेट ऑफ द बीस इट इज बिकॉज एज वी आर फ्रेंड्स we told our secrets to others na so this is how he also know their secrets and all the friends tell them his secrets okay students so this was the hayavatha's poems activities so you can also read the poem and again learn these okay all the best thank you